Do you have multiple Kubernetes clusters across different clouds and your own data centers? Then you know how challenging it is to manage them. How can you simplify your multi-cluster strategy with Anthos? Keep watching to find out. Hi, I'm Priyanka Vergadia, and welcome to this episode of Anthos 101, where we will cover the reasons for adopting a multi-cluster strategy and how Anthos can help you manage multiple clusters easily. Why would you adopt a multi-cluster strategy? Well, the answer is one of two reasons. Your workload needs isolation or you need compute anywhere. Let's dive deeper into isolation. By isolation, we often mean both isolation of control plane and the isolation of data plane. The most obvious reason to leverage multiple clusters is to separate your prod and non-prod environments, mainly to ensure the production environment is tightly controlled and not compromised during development and testing. The second reason is controlling the blast radius. You may be running the same app across multiple clusters just to ensure that the application remains resilient to failures or changes occurring in the single cluster. The other reason could be tenant separation. You would do this for a variety of reasons, like you've identified some applications that don't play well together and want to keep them separated. You're running a mix of trusted and untrusted code and want stronger boundaries between them. You've got some really important services that you want to ensure are always up. And finally, you may want to isolate for security and compliance reasons. Now, the other dimension to consider when adopting a multi-cluster strategy is the need to provide compute platform anywhere and everywhere your organization deploys applications. You might want to co-locate your Kubernetes instances with existing infrastructure, allowing you to modernize applications that sit directly near those hard to move databases and stable services. Availability could be another driving factor. Running applications across regions and even clouds can help ensure your application remains up and running despite any outages. Regulatory requirements also lend themselves to multiple clusters, especially for multinationals with data residency requirements. And we know that each cloud has differentiated services that development teams want to use, making developer choice another important factor. Now that we know why you may need to adopt a multi-cluster strategy, let's talk about the operational challenges of maintaining multiple clusters across clouds and your own data centers. In most organizations, the platform teams are responsible for developing custom solutions or cobbling together open source tooling for practically everything. And this leads to a lot of friction in adopting a multi-cluster strategy. Managing the life cycle of each cluster using different tooling from different vendors, ensuring uniform access and governance controls across the cluster. Getting insights into your global set of applications, enabling application teams to efficiently deliver software to all their clusters. And managing traffic to provide redundancy and to reduce latency. This is what we set out to solve with Anthos. Let's cover a few of the multi-cluster solutions we have in Anthos. Anthos GKE gives your team a consistent container management experience. Anthos Config Management unifies access policies and provides governance across multiple clusters. Anthos Service Mesh allows you to set and monitor SLOs on your services, secure traffic between services, even across the cluster boundary, and Ingress for Anthos allows you to load balance external traffic to the closest cluster to your end users. This helps you to build low latency and high availability services in multiple GCP regions. To make it easier to take advantage of these multi-cluster features, we are introducing a concept called environs. With environs, you can group related resources like clusters into a single management domain. Once resources are grouped together in an environment, you can then easily manage multi-cluster features and components across all environment members. This simple yet powerful concept allows you to up-level your management from cluster by cluster to group of clusters. For example, with environments, you can now apply and enforce common policy and config across all environment members using Anthos Config Management. Create a service mesh over all members of an environment using Anthos Service Mesh and even load balance external traffic into your GKE clusters using Ingress for Anthos. 
There you have it. Antho simplifies the adoption of multi-cluster strategy across clouds and on-prem with the concept of Envines. Going forward, all multi-cluster features will be managed with Envines, so expect more in this space. Check out the Envine Best Practices Guide linked below and get started today. For more Anthos content, don't forget to subscribe to follow the entire Anthos 101 playlist.